Welcome back to Silent Hill 4, The Room. In the last episode, we met that person who is also a tenant at our apartment building. It's the first time we've seen someone else from our apartment building in these worlds. And we've also been fighting a bunch of very disturbing looking apes. I think they're apes. I called them monkeys before, but I think they're more ape-like. So I don't think they have tails and they're pretty human looking in a very, very disturbing way. So we just took an elevator down, and we can go to three different floors with the elevator. We can also go down here, so there's a lot of different pathways to go. By default, the elevator just took me here, and I don't even know what floor this is. I guess I'll just go out. Is this a door? Kind of looks like it on the map. Like, is this a little gate? Hmm. No. Okay. Oh, they want me so bad. Look at those puppers. Okay. Let's see what's down here. Is that those stocky things? Another ladder. Does that go up to the other elevator? This place is pretty complex. Nutrition drink. That's only the second one I found in the entire game. They're so rare. Yeah, it's these stocks. Nah, well... Before I fight them, because they might grow back. They did that at the uh, watery prison place. They grew back when I like left and came back. Let's not go there just yet. Uh, well, can't change the view. I think this is where the other elevator would be, but it's just an empty shaft, I think. Alright. Let's go this way. Okay, here we go. I hate those ones that are just, like, pale like a maggot. A train of dogs! Drink from the body. Drink. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. They found me! Um. What if I leave and come back? Are they gonna lose track of me? I think I need to kill the dogs. Hopefully I don't have to shoot them. This must be why they give me a health drink, because, yeah, this looks like a very nasty spot. Let's actually use it. Yeah, let's use it. Let's not be too precious with it. I 
think we're safe now. They're drinking, 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 drinking. Good puppers. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, shit. Mm. Mm. Oh, fuck. Should I just try to kill them? I don't know how quickly I can kill them with a bat. Oh, no, 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 not good, not good, not good. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. Not fine. Yeah, I know you're angry. I'm angry too. Alright, one hit and I'm dead. Oh my god. Oh, there's so many of them. I can't fight them. I can't fight them. That one has a golf club! The one at the door has a golf club! That means... A. They can use golf clubs and weapons. B. I need to kill it because I need that golf club. I need to add it to my collection. Okay, this time let's not fight anybody here. Just don't bother with them. Also, don't sprint. Don't don't sprint. That's fine. That's fine. That's cool. That's fine. See? Oh, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, now hold on. Hold on. Uh. Oh, no, 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 no. Where are they going? No, I want to kick him. Ah! Okay, I think, I think the body just disappeared or something. All right, forget these. Give me my golf club. Give me it. Looks like a... It's a pitching wedge! Hell yeah! Powerful, easy to use. Okay, nowhere to go but this door right here. Wait, there's... No, there's a ladder there, but it doesn't matter. Lots of corporate boxes, nothing interesting. Oh. Yeah, I don't think it'd be a good idea to fight all of those enemies. Oh, this is a bad room. What am I walking on? What a weird light. It's like three coils of light around the top of the fan.
Leeches. Just garbage. Nothing useful here. Wooden crates. There's an axe on the table and a hole and a bunch of leeches. This game's really pretty. They did they did all this on the PS2. Like what a hell of an atmospheric room. Also, that hole over there is covered in blood on the outside of it. I don't think any of the other holes were like that. Most of them over here. I think pretty much all of them in this corner. It's a billiard table. Looks like they were in the middle of a game. Oh, what did that say? It's a rusty axe. A little short, but powerful and easy to handle. Well, honestly, my bat already feels super short. Is it any shorter than the bat? Hmm. Let's see when we can hear the hit sound and when we can't. Wow, okay, maybe it is super short. There we go, so we start hearing it here. And if we switch to the bat... Oh, wait a sec. Switch back to the axe. Oh, it's got a better range than the bat. Okay. And then I'm guessing... Oh, right, I don't, I don't have the pipe on me anymore. I put it away. I was going to test the range of that, but I'm pretty sure it's longer than any of these. But yeah, this is better than the bat. Better damage and better range. Same attack pattern. One. Two. Oh. No, it's a bit different. There's no, like, combos of two or three that go faster. If you keep mashing it, you just keep doing the same attack again and again. It's reasonably fast, though, and it charges up a lot faster than the bat. Whoa. That's also the longest attack animation for the strong attack out of all the weapons. Look at that. Oh, I think I actually really like that. Because in the animation, they move forwards. Yeah, they move quite a bit forwards in the animation. That's good. Because a lot of times I do a strong attack with the bat, and then it winds up short because they don't move forwards at all. But yeah, that's good. Memo. The boss said that the number this time is the last four digits of the store's phone number. But the phone number is written right there on the sign on the roof. Anybody could see it from South Ashfield Street. Is that really okay? Oh, that's the number we tried to dial before and got, like, some demonic voice on the other end. Okay, well, we can get that pretty easily just by going through the hole. Away from that keypad, you're not getting in there. It's mine. Ooh, nice. Let's try this. <laughs> That's very satisfying. I think we just got two more.
Yeah, that's all of them. No more squishy noises. Now the question is, are they going to come back when I leave the room? Oh, wait a sec. Just want to get a look at this hole. Yeah, so it's bloody on the outside. I thought maybe it had cobwebs inside of it, but I think that's just the weird texture on the inside. Okay. Let's go save and get our health back and go get that passcode. Hey, that's... Was that a different animation? I could see some color on the pipes. It wasn't just gray. Maybe I've just stopped paying attention to it and didn't notice that. Leeches didn't come back? They didn't. Nice. So the last four digits are three, seven, five, zero. Stairways collapsed. Doesn't look like I could get through. Was that the guy? The dude? Dude going after the kid? I thought I was going to see them fall down that stairwell. Shit. I could put on my medallion, but I'll only do that if it's necessary. This is not necessary. I just want to see if I could down them and then stab them. You have no time. I have no time. God, they're so creepy the way they move. I hate it. I like to only use the medallion if I like really, really need to. And I'm taking very minor damage here and I'm healed up to max. So I don't feel like I need to. this? It's store 207 from my apartment building. Whoa. There's a plate on the door. Chaos placard. Has an abstract picture and says chaos. I need to kill that fucking kid. Okay, a couple things. One, I didn't expect to get to the end of that section so soon. I felt like I had a million other ways to go because I didn't even try to go up in the elevator, but I'm guessing I probably couldn't go anywhere else. I'm hoping that's the case and that I didn't miss a bunch of bonus stuff, but yeah, I, I probably couldn't go anywhere in the elevator, in which case that was the only way I could, I could go. 
Um, the other thing is, they said, and I think we pretty much only heard this because the subtitles were on, I, I don't think you'd be able to understand it otherwise, but they said, that's no kid, that's the 11th person, right? They said the full thing, the 1-1-1-2-1. One, 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 one. But that's the 11th man, is what they said, right? Remember, the 11th man was the one that I found in the graveyard. I didn't find the person. I just found the open casket. Remember, it was dug up. And written on the casket was the whole 11, 1, 2, 1. So... I don't understand, though. I thought... I thought the kid was Walter Sullivan, and Walter Sullivan was the one doing all of these kills. But if the kid is Walter Sullivan, then that means Walter Sullivan was one of the ones killed and came back from the dead or something? I don't know what's going on, but that kid is the 11th person. Also, that person who just died was the 19th person, which means there's only one more to go before we have another even 10 sinners. My neighbor? Me? Might be the 20th. Looks like another one, Captain. Got one, one, two, one on his head. It's just like that case from 10 years ago. Yeah, that Walter Sullivan case. But Sullivan's dead. They even got the body. Must be some crazy copycat. Yeah, but even so... And now the news. Yesterday, Wally the Walrus, a longtime resident of the Springfield Zoo, gave birth to a healthy baby walrus pup named Buttercup. Mother and child are doing just fine. Didn't we hear that before? Not that I mind hearing it again. There's a man in 207 pointing his finger. He's pointing at room 303. Eileen's room. Uh-oh. Okay, so the kid in the cutscene was pointing out the window. And now, there's a man pointing out the window. So in the other world they look like a kid, but here they look like what they actually are? Is that Walter Sullivan? I'm scared to look through and see how Eileen's doing. Who are they arguing with? They getting dressed up to go somewhere? That means this person out here wasn't arguing with Eileen, because they were in their room. Are they still there? No. Are they still pointing? Yes. Huh. Well, if they are going out, that might be a good thing. Anything but stay here, right? In this cursed apartment building? Whoa. A symbol started to appear around it. I notice that this is the first one that isn't drawn in red. It looks either black or maybe it was red, but it's just super, super faded. And I know that color does have some significance to the symbol. I'm looking at the Silent Hill wiki again, and it says, the symbol is usually drawn in red and occasionally in black, but blue and yellow reverses the meaning into a curse on God and is forbidden by the order. So color does matter, but either red or black is apparently fine. Blue and yellow, not okay. To the order, anyway. 
But remember, this is the god of, I don't know, fucking demon god? So a curse on that sort of god might be a good thing. Actually, it's definitely a good thing. Also, there's no noise. Where do the voices go? Hmm. Alright, well, I think I'm going to end this episode here. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to see what's on the other side of this hole now.